All right, red bud track walk. Looks like he tilled it deep as shit right after the landing. This deep. Damn, there's still fucking ruts, it looks like. It's really soft. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be deep, cause, like, I mean, there's a, about a foot difference between the, Sizing up the leap with Eli King. This is deep. It's fucking deep. I wonder if you could rail this outside. It's a holder fucking wide. Thing is, it's so deep, I don't know. If you, we'll, we'll, we'll see tomorrow, but now we're coming up to the infamous Loraco's Leap. Looks steep enough to do. You could run that outside. Woo. I, I guess no one did it today. The outside's probably gonna get choppy as fuck. My goal is to send this baby at the regional. I'm not trying to walk up that fucker. You guys will see me sliding on my ass. Might slide on my ass on the grass. Woo, he built it steep. Man, that landing's big. Thing. I noticed even when the pros jump it, they kind of angle to the left. Whew. Make it here. You're home free. Make it down there. World of pain. Funny how couple feet can make such a big difference. Let's see. This turn looks like it's going to be gnarly. Well, maybe not the outside. See, the, the pros, they just fucking get on the gas and they make nice burns. Here you got every skill cal caliper imaginable. You get bumps in the middle of turns and shit. And this is gonna be deep right here. It looks, looks really sandy. Here's 
the old good old T3. Haven't hooked it yet this year. Once this gets more packed down, it's like a speed bump over there too to make it more difficult.